Agricultural Crop Production Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. Agricultural Crop Production Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8, Module 6. Our topic is for form record keeping. Carry out inventory activities. Farm record. A farm record is a document, in most cases a book, which is accustomed to keep the accounts of various activities, events, materials, and others concerning the farm operations. Farm records are totally different from farm accounts, within the sense that farm accounts deal solely with the money aspect of all farm operations. Farm accounts deal majorly with the farm expenditures and financial gain and facilitate farmer to calculate his business financial activities. Why should a farmer keep farm records? Reason why a farmer should keep farm records, number one, farm records facilitate farmer to stay stock and manage every side of the farm properly. Number two, it is necessary to come up with proper budgeting. It also provides a farmer with enough data required for correct coming up with the budgeting at each purpose in time. Number three, farm records assist farmers to understand the progress and contributions of every side of the farm to its overall success. Number four, it is necessary to correct farm management. And number five, terribly useful once a farmer must access money aids from banks or different money establishments. Types of farm records and their uses. There are different types of farm records a farmer should keep to run a successful farm business. It includes, number one, records of farm tools and equipment. This is used to keep an inventory of all equipment in the farm and its quantity. It also contains the date of purchase of the equipment and sometimes their description. Here is an example of record of farm tools and equipment. Number two, records of agricultural inputs. This record is used to keep track of all agricultural inputs such as fertilizers, seeds, and others. It record also contains the amount of what was bought the amount that has been used and that was left. Here is an example of records of agricultural inputs. Number three, production records. Production records are used to record everything that is produced in the farm. These records are prepared every week, then sum up at the end of the month and also at the end of the year. Number four, records for farm use. It is used for recording the date the land was prepared for farming, the number of lots or hectares used in planting, the plants planted on the farm, and where they are planted. Number 5. Farm Expenditure Records Farm expenditure records are used to keep a record of all expenditures. Number 6. Workers' Records this is used to keep the records of staffs, their salaries, and payment. It also known as labor record. Vehicle records. It is used to keep a record of all vehicles used on the farm, petrol, and oil used, and also any repairs and services with the corresponding dates. Number eight, sales record. Sales record is used to keep the records of all sales production made from the farm. Maintain production record. Production records are used in farming as a way of record keeping to better maintain a crop. Farm management involves crop planning, keeping track of crops, and being able to plan production on the basis of production records from the previous seasons. Record keeping and records of production in agriculture provides the basis on which and when a farmer works. Production plan. 
Production planning, it comprises of all details relating to how your farm production will produce market products. It includes growing all types of crops. This may also include evaluating your land production potential, the varieties and breeds you choose for your land and production method, the types of tools, equipment, implements, machinery, and facilities you have or require as well as the production practices. Although the best preparation methods are the practical knowledge and experiences you have from your own farm or working on other farms in your community, there are ranges of agencies and networks that can help you on the various issues and problems that you may encounter. The production activities are the following, planting, applying fertilizer, applying pesticides, implementation of biosecurity measures, irrigating or watering, weeding, harvesting, and force harvesting. Schedule of production activities. Schedule of production activities records the schedule of production activities. It is important to take note the observation to monitor the correct number of days after planting. Too early or delay of doing some activities may affect the growth and production of crop that will result to low production yield, having high expenses yet low net income. Production report is used in farming as part of record keeping to better maintain a crop. Production report includes crops, keeping track of crop production quantity, and being able to schedule production on the basis of production data from previous season. Crop refers to the plant or plant product that is grown by the farmer. Area planted refers to the land area on which farmers have planted the plant crop. Area harvested refers to the land area where crop is being harvested or gathered. It does not include the area planted where there is no harvest due to failure or damage. Production quantity refers to the total crop produced or harvested. Example of crop production report. Input and production monitoring. Tracking inputs such as fertilizers, soil nutrient additives, and crop responses to those inputs over time can give data which inputs can help you to have a higher production. Having your data as a basis for a longer period of time can help you also decide when to plant a particular crop and still get acceptable yield. Prepare financial records. Examine records in crop production. Output analysis should be easy to adjust to the farmer's raiser's needs. The following sample analysis does not include expenditures such as the depreciation cost and interest on capital. The purpose of this lesson is to provide you with the first-hand information on the basic requirements and financial gains in crop production. Inputs in crop production. In crop production, prospective investors ought to contemplate the subsequent thought before planning to begin the farming operation. First is the cost. This includes farm inputs cost, labor cost, and post-harvest cost. Number two, the returns or the sales of crops. Cost and Profit Analysis This is a document that shows how much profit the farmer will gain for the production of crops. It includes a list of costs in farming activities, cost in farm inputs, and other expenses used in the production. The cost and return analysis help the farmer get the complete expenses of operations and calculates the exact net return of the production. The following are the important terms in cost and profit analysis. First, the cost of production. These are the total expenses of the production. Number two, sales. This is the selling of goods or product in exchange of money. Number three, capital. These are the money needed to produce goods or services. 
Next is the net income. This is the total income earned minus costs and other expenses. This table shows a sample of cost and return analysis in cassava production for one hectare. You can see in this table that the total production cost is 25,300. The false harvest cost is 11,500, which has the total cost of 36,800. And if it will be sold in fresh roots, the total sales will be 50,000 pesos. And if dried chips, the total sales will be 70,000 pesos. The net income per hectare is, are the following. For fresh fruits, 24,700. And if dried chips, 33,200. What is return of investment or ROI? Return of investment or ROI is the amount that goes back to the person who put money in the business. This is computed by dividing the net income by the cost of production multiplied by 100%. How to calculate the ROI? The return on investment formula is as follows. ROI is equal to net income over cost of production times 100. The following are sample computation for fresh roots and dried chips. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.